hi guys how are you doing welcome back to our youtube channel as usual my name is doreen and if you have not heard um the rumors in the hood actually they're not rumors i think it's a fact um there's a new book coming out written by omit COVID, titled end game inside the royal family and the monarchy's fight for survival Oof, the title is definitely intriguing and um this week there's a couple of snippets that were given exclusively to the people magazine and today we will be going through one of them and woo, i can't wait i'm honestly honestly i'm looking forward to what what is in this book what, what stories do you have do you guys have for us what theories because you know we can't prove the facts of what is going on here but yeah so um i'll be reading an article from people titled megan markle has moved on from the royals she doesn't want anything to do with it in brackets exclusive <laughs> anyway yeah, it's exclusive because of its co omid scoby shared a snippet of the book with people um and my reaction when i first saw this title was oh good for you girl good for you megan because let's be honest you can't stay in one place forever right you can't yeah you you have to move on sometimes like sometimes that's the only cure we have right <laughs> anyway before i start sharing my own rumors let's dive into it right so, the Duchess of Sussex has moved on from the royals, while Prince Harry still has unfinished business. And Games author Omid Scobby tells people, Okay, positive, Meghan has moved on. Um, negative, stroke positive, um, Prince Harry still has unfinished business. I really want to get a better context of, it, of this before I give my opinion. So let's let's continue Meghan markle is focused on the future and her family with prince harry Ooh, good for you girl well well the duchess of sussex 42 years old has moved on from the royals harry still has unfinished business other omid scoby whose new book endgame is out november 28th tells people in this week's cover story so first of all mark the date november 28th if you want a, a cover of, a copy of that book and i'm not marketing yeah please get it quite early on in in the book writing process some of those megan sources that i really learned on on the earlier years this time were like you know what she doesn't want anything to do with it, says Scobie, who has covered the royal family for more than a decade. Oh my god, I love that for her. Because once you, your friends start saying something, or people that are just close to you and around you start saying something about you, just me it's true. It, it has some facts in it, and so yeah, good for Megan again. For Harry, it's different. He still has unfinished business when it comes to his battles with the press. Ooh, now I understand. His challenge will be to find something that balances that balances that out so we can see him working in a space that isn't connected to the ties that bind from the past. He says, wow, now I get that context of why you're saying Harry has unfinished business business because so far i think he has two cases with two presses i think the mirror and the day the mail and if this is the unfinished business we're talking about i think it's just harry trying to um set things right um hold people accountable and i think that's really important and i'm like if this is what he has to do in order to move on well, go for it, Harry. Go for it. Do it. Do it for you. You know, do it for your family. Because let's be honest, Archie and Lilibet and even the kids of 
Prince William, that's where they are heading, right? Because they are royals. That's where they are heading. That's the path they will be taking. And if these people, the press, the tablets are not held accountable right now, um, they will do the same thing. They will troll the kids of of you know of prince william and prince harry and the other royals so i think it's really important that he is doing this and i believe this is a good cause for him continuing still Meghan and harry have kept an open line of communication with king charles and reached out to the monarch to wish him a happy birthday on tuesday with Harry, there's a reluctant acceptance that this is just who his father is. He would rather have that in his life than to cut it off completely. Hence, when they talk, it is often Harry reaching out, says Kobe. And that's a good thing because it means he understands the importance of family and that cutting off your family sometimes is not always the cure to everything, right? And yeah, he also has to be in contact with his grandchildren. And I was surprised and I was surprised to learn that even Megan has some sort of correspondence with Charles, sending over photos of the children, although they are not directly to him, so there is a willingness there. And I think now this has set the picture really well for us, because I think when we say Meghan has moved from the royals, it has moved on from the royals, it means she has moved on from the farm. Not the blood family. Because you see, she's trying to keep Archie and Lilibet in contact with his, their grandfather. And I think it's the same thing for Prince Harry. Prince Harry has not moved on from the farm and from his blood family because from the farm he's still attacking them through through the press because we all know who who shares the the info the gossip <laughs> um about the royals to the press we, we all know what the facts are so yeah he has not moved on he wants to hold these people accountable he wants to break the system that has been there for generations and generations even during even when his mother was alive so yeah and i believe good for harry but when it comes to megan she's like you know what i'm done i'm done with those people i'm done with the farm you know what? i'm just gonna concentrate on my own family i'm just gonna concentrate on making sure that both archie and lilibet are in contact with the people that matter to them see yeah no no i get it no i get it because I was wondering, what, what's going on, you know? In May, Harry made a brief appearance at the coronation of his father, King Charles and Queen Camilla, but was not invited to join the royal family on the palace balcony. Meghan and their children, Prince Archie IV and Princess Lilibet too, stayed home as they celebrated Archie's birthday. Scobie chronicle, chronicles both the breakdown of the royal family and the weakening of the modern monarchy in Endgame, according to the, according to the author. Harry is in the rear, their rear view mirror for his brother, Prince William. Ooh, ooh. Now that paragraph makes the book really interesting. We, we, I honestly just want to get the, the theory. What is his theory about the... Um, the weakening of the modern monarchy. Okay, I know it's like um, since um, Prince William and Harry are no longer these tight, that's where the the cracks are. But ooh, that definitely makes you wanna know more, right? William so far what in his journey that what is important today is very different to what was important um ten years ago. Scobie says. You really feel this when you talk to people working at the palace that they really consider what Harry and Meghan, but mostly Harry, say as just irritating noise. The feeling of this man are the feelings of this man are not worth anything anymore. That's sort of typical of any big corporation. I know it's different because they are family, but as we have known for a long time. The meaning of family is 
very different to them very different for harry and william okay let's continue before i <laughs> there's something i'm saying here the royal family of course is not known for its focus on feelings but in end games kobe writes that perhaps more than at any other point in history the family is ignoring its internal fractures at its own peril because part of the buy-in from the british public is that the royal family is the nation's family oh my god <sighs> i think here first of all we are seeing a very big difference between prince harry and prince william um, he says that what was important to Prince William 10 years ago is not the same as now. What was important for Prince William 10 years ago, his family, his relationship with his brother, right? But now, what is he focusing on? The monarchy, power. But I think for Prince Harry, it's even more clear uh, what is important to him his family and the well-being of, of his family which comes a lot with being in contact with his own feelings and the feelings of the people around him that's what is important to him and if this is the thing that's creating the rift then so be it because you can see one side oh no 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 we don't care about the feelings it just keeping the power in the family, making sure, you know, the monarchy continues. And it doesn't matter that for the monarchy to keep reigning, that we throw some of our people under the bus. You know, that, that's what it takes. That's what it has taken for, no offense, but for the monarchy to remain afloat, making their business, the business of the people in the monarchy, the public business. Whew. Okay. And Prince William wants to continue in that route. But Prince Harry, mm -mm, that no longer works for him. Oof. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue, tell me who is your favorite? Who do you prefer? We know, we know the answer to that. I know the answer to that. Do you know the answer to that? Well, and yet, Kobe says, heir to the throne, um, William, 41 years old, has prioritized his loyalty to the monarchy, even quietly cooperating with the UK press to undermine Harry, 39 years old. Kenningston Palace had no comment when reached by people about the allegations. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so where's the loyalty where does your loyalty lie to your family family or to the monarchy the farm you know where does your loyalty lie we now we see clearly the difference be, the differences between these two people we see it we see it oh man we better read this book we better read it Nearly a year after, near, nearly a year after Harry laid bare the painful rift between himself and his family in his memoir spare, and the world learned the extent of the division between the two brothers. Absolutely nothing has changed," said Scobby. And who doesn't want to change? Who? No matter what, we know, we know, guys, we know who doesn't want to change. The heart and anger between William and Harry, one, the Prince of the Prince of Wales and future King. Mm -hmm. Prince of Wales and future King. Power guys, power. Choosing power of a family. Oh my god. <laughs> Choosing <sighs> I thought these things just happen in movies, but apparently for William, he doesn't even try to hide it. He doesn't. Um the Duke of Sussex and Californian has now hardened into something colder and more immovable, Scobie says, indifference. I saw Harry's release of Spare as his last attempt of telling his family how he felt for years, he says, because clearly there has never been an open enough forum 
to have these conversations or share these feelings and yeah i do believe it was his attempt to even you know open a conversation with his family right um because let's be honest they weren't even receiving his phone call so how was i supposed to communicate to you guys but that aside that's what he was trying to do like guys i i don't hate you or anything i just want us to have a genuine conversation about how this whole system affects us what changes can we bring in what steps can we take right because as much as power is beautiful as much as it's really amazing being a royal i believe um giving up your mental health is not worth it giving up um the mental health of your family members i don't think that's the way and this is what harry was trying to communicate and if william doesn't want to listen to him well ah <sighs> probably that's what it will be in difference and in different relationship between the two which will be so sad because both of them have grown up together anyway Harry has not given up. I really admire that about Harry. Even if spare didn't work, he's still trying to, you know, change the mind of his brother by, you know, still holding the press into accountability and hopefully even holding those people that supplied the personal information about the members of the royal family accountable so yeah that's from me to you i don't know about you but i'm honestly looking forward to this book yeah and read good things about harry from it because <laughs> anyway from me to you bye bye